was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Colombo School of Computing, late Vidya Jyoti, Professor B.K. Samaranayaka, initiated International Information Technology Conference, IITC. It was a forum for presentation of ideas and cutting-edge developments by researchers and academics in the field of computing. In 2010, IITC was renamed and relaunched as the International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions. It was intended to obtain a wider international participation and to promote research and development in computing in the emerging regions of the world, especially in Asia.
It was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Columbus School of Computing, late Vidya Jyoti, Professor VK. It was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Columbus School of Computing, late Vid Check. Check one, one. Test. Test. Check. Check one. Generations. It was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Columbus School of Computing, late Vidya Jyoti, Professor VK Samaranayaka, initiated International Information Technology Conference, IITC. It was a forum for presentation of ideas and cutting-edge developments by researchers and academics in the field of computing. In 2010, IITC was renamed and relaunched as the International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions. It was intended to obtain a wider international participation and to promote research and development. It was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Columbia
it was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Colombo School of Computing, late Vinder Jyoti, Professor V.K. Samaranayaka, initiated International Information Technology Conference, IITC. It was a forum for researchers in the field of ICT for emerging regions. ICTA exposing quality work in an extended format. This year, ICTA is holding its 17th conference, having reached the significant milestone of Google's H5 median index ranking of 11, reflecting its quality as an attractive venue of publication and dissemination for researchers in the field of computing. It is time for the 17th International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions, ICTA 2017. It brought together nearly 200 local and international participants and four keynote speakers from three countries for two days of productive deliberations. It was held with Professor P.S.M. Gunaratna as the chief guest and Professor Mohan Gunasinga as the guest of honor. Every year, the selected best papers are published on a special issue of the sister journal, ICTA, exposing quality work in an extended format. This year, ICTA is holding its 17th conference, having reached the significant milestone of a Google's H5 median index ranking of 11, reflecting its quality as an attractive venue of publication and dissemination for researchers in the field of computing. It is time for the 17th International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions, ICTA 2017. University of Colombo, the most pioneer in providing higher education in Sri Lanka, has the best equipped best staffed and the most recognized computing facility in the country. For the last four decades, the University of Colombo has taken giant strides to project a remarkable rectitude in catering computer education. Computing at Colombo began in September 1967.
was in 1998 that the founding director of the University of Columbus School of Computing, late Vinder Jyoti, Professor V. K. Samaranayaka, initiated International Information Technology Conference, IITC. It was a fourth. University of Colombo, the most pioneer in providing higher education in Sri Lanka, has the best
check one, one, two. Test. Check one, two, three. Volume code, very good. Check one, one, two. Test. The volume code, very good. Check one, one, two, three, Harry. Thank you. You're at level four. brand new auditorium inside a brand new building. And uh, we're now going to give a couple of moments for our distinguished invitees to uh, come in and take your seats and make yourselves comfortable. What a special day, what a very significant day for the University of Colombo School of Computing and also the ICT journey of Sri Lanka. And uh, this is a very significant landmark a landmark year, the Golden Jubilee celebration, and uh, what better way than celebrating inside a brand new auditorium. Just a little while ago, officially declared open, and 
Ladies and gentlemen, still outside, we want you to come in and take your seats and make yourselves comfortable. And in a few moments, we'll be beginning or continuing our program. And we have a very interesting program lined up. And all this coinciding with the 50th anniversary celebrations of UCSC. So once again, if I make that announcement, if you're still outside the auditorium and, uh, and also if you're still inside and not yet seated, we want you to kindly take your seats as soon as possible, make yourselves comfortable, and we'll give uh, a few more minutes for that. And uh, no sooner that's done, we start our program inside the auditorium. We seek your cooperation, ladies and gentlemen, to kindly take your seats as soon as possible. If you're already seated, thank you very much. And if you're still not yet seated, we want you to take your seats as soon as possible. Thank you.
Don't worry, German, I think we're good to go. Oh, yes. Now, this is not a familiar place for you. This is not a definitely the plaque that was unveiled at uh, the entrance by our chief guest, the chairman of the, the University Grants Commission, Professor Mohan De Silva. And thereafter, the cutting of the ceremonial cutting of the ribbon was done by the uh, Chancellor of the University of Colombo, His Grace, the Right Reverend Dr. Oswald Gomez. And thereafter, after gaining entry into the uh, building, in the lobby was the uh, Golden Jubilee plaque, which was officially unveiled by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Senior Professor Lakshman Desanayake, the ceremonial lighting of the oil lamp, which was at uh, the lobby level. And all of us are here at level four of this uh, new multipurpose building of UCSC, and that is the auditorium. And this is named after the father of ICT in Sri Lanka, the late Vidya Jyoti BK Samaranayaka Auditorium. And you're right now very comfortably seated inside the Bij Vidya Jyoti BK Samaranayaka Auditorium, which was in fact uh, ceremonially opened by Madam Shriya Samaranayaka, the wife of uh, the late Vidya Jyoti BK Samaranayaka. So that's where we are. And right now, we have the rest of the program that will be uh, happening inside this auditorium. And all this is happening as we mark a very significant year of the journey of uh, UCSC 50th anniversary, the Golden Jubilee. Happy 50th anniversary, UCSC. <laughs> so we have a very interesting program, a very informative and interesting program, and a special program lined up ahead of us, and we're now going to sing our national anthem, and we'd like to uh, kindly request you, ladies and gentlemen, in the audience to rise for the national anthem of Sri Lanka.
played in German, they say that life is like a candle in the wind and all of us are in fact uh, embarked or we are going through that journey on earth and uh, that journey is called life and we also know that uh, our journey has to come to an end, it will come to an end and uh, none of us know when that journey will come to an end but the important thing is uh, though our journey has come to an end, what is important is that uh, we need to uh, analyze and see the contribution or a role that uh, a certain individual has played in society, influencing the lives of others, contributing to society during that journey. And uh, here is a fine example of a gentleman who has uh, left us who is no more in the land of living, but uh, his contribution to uh, the world of uh, ICT is uh, immeasurable. And uh, that's exactly why he's regarded as the father of ICT in Sri Lanka. So we are now going to spend a few moments paying gratitude to him. In fact, uh, his founding uh, initiation led to all this activity and also led to all this success that we're enjoying. And uh, we're now going to pay tribute and honor to the late Vidya Jyoti Professor VK Samaranayaka. So we want you to rise from your seats as we observe a few moments of silence. Thank you very much. Please be seated. You will now be welcomed in the form of dance to this uh, celebration as we celebrate 50 years of computing at the University of Colombo. And you will be, in fact, welcomed in dance, and this will be by way of a puja dance by the students of the University of Visual and Performing Arts. Can we please welcome our dancers on stage?
we say a big thank you to the students of the University of Visual and Performing Arts. We will now see and hear words of official welcome to this distinguished audience by the director of the uh, University of Colombo School of Computing. We'd like to very warmly invite to the podium, Professor K.P. Hevagamage. Very good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of the University of Colombo School of Computing, it is my pleasure and privilege to extend a warm welcome to all of you to this unique moment which marks the 50th anniversary of computing at the University of Colombo. In fact, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary with three most awaited events. the opening of the new building and the auditorium, the 10th oration of Vidya Jyoti Professor V.K. Samaranayake, and the inauguration of the 17th International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions. Yes, sir. Before we proceed with the today's ceremony, I would like to express my most sincere gratitude for your presence in this ceremony. Especially, I would like to welcome and thank the chairman of UGC, Professor Mohan De Silva, Chancellor of University of Colombo, Your Grace, Reverend Dr. Oswald Gomez, the Vice Chancellor of University of Colombo, Senior Professor Lakshman Dishanayake, all deans and directors of the University of Colombo, former and present Vice Chancellors of Universities, Acting Versa, Acting Registrar, Versa, Madam Shreya Samaranayake, the Orator, Professor Roger Stern, all invited keynote speakers of ICSA conference, and all other special invitees for this seven of this event. The discipline of computing started at the University of Colombo in 1967, when Vidya Jyoti Professor V.K. Samaranayake started Fortran programming in a course module at the Faculty of Science. During the 50 years, the evolution of computing studies at the University of Colombo was remarkable. A small unit which was under the Department of Mathematics became the Department of Computer Science and Statistics in 1985. A separate institute called ICT, Institute of Computer Technology, was established in 1987 to share, disseminate, and promote information technology beyond the boundaries of the University of Colombo. The science behind the IT or ICT is the computer science, and as such, the Faculty of Science gave uh, attention to improve the both human resources and infrastructure to develop the computing domain. Consequently, the degree programs of both undergraduate and the postgraduate levels in compu computer su studies were commenced at this university in 1990. The introduction of the degrees in computer science directly affected the rapid evolution of the computing studies at the university. Those who graduated from, the, from this university with a computing background were able to obtain doctoral level qualification in computing from prominent universities all over the world. Some of them returned to the University of Colombo and contributed tirelessly to the development of computing discipline in this university. In 2002, we had to make an, a painful decision at a meeting chaired by late Professor Samaranayake to separate from the Faculty of Science and to form a new entity of the University of Colombo. Professor Samaranayake asked several questions from the staff in this regard and the most Memorable questions were, do you need the financial autonomy? 
do you want to become a faculty or an institute? What is the suitable name for the faculty? He had answers for all those questions and nicely explained the positive and negative sides of each answer. I could really, uh, un I could really understand the value of these decisions only after becoming the director of the UCSC. Professor Samarnayaka explained the importance of the financial autonomy to <laughs> explain the fi uh, financial autonomy since the government allocation was not enough. As such, it, it was necessary to generate the income and obtain the grants to move forward without completely depending on the government allocation and not to affect the not to affect the schedules of the other faculties in the university. For your information, 40% of the cost for this building is based on the, the government's, uh, based on the generated income of the UCSC. When the UCSC was established, some of us wanted to have the name as faculty or school of computer science. Computer science is not another pure science. It is in a mixture of the science and engineering. The merge of the, the merge of the computer science and ICT started spreading across the other boundaries of the other disciplines. Later, we realized that we selected the right word, computing. If I summarize, UCSC is the sustainable entity to institutionalize the computing at the University of Colombo. UCSC is a rich son of UOC with respect to value. The staff of the UCSC are employees of the University of Colombo, as well as students who read their, read for their degrees at the UCSC are undergraduates of the University of Colombo. For example, this whole auditorium and building, UCSC is the caretaker, University of Colombo is the real owner. When the UCSC was established in 2002, the internal undergraduate intake from the UGC was increased from 50 to 120 students. Few years later, UGC requested us to double the intake with a uh, promise for capital allocation. We accepted the challenge considering the national, the importance of the, the national requirement and form a new degree program, BSc in Information System. We called that one Bachelor of Information and Communication Technology at the beginning, but later we changed the name. However, infrastructure and the human resources were not enough to double the intake. We didn't have a space to construct a new building, although the capital grant was there to build a new structure. Staff and students suffered a lot due to the inadequate space and facilities. Both academic staff and former directors of the UCSC worked very hard sacrificing many of their academic privileges during the last two decades to enhance the quality, of quality and promote the re, pr uh, protect the reputation of the UCSC. Finally, we built this new building at the location where the previous auditorium was located. We have now agreed to the UGC to increase the intake to 300 students from the next year and the total in undergraduate population of UCSC will be over 1,000 from next year. The low intake for the public university is in a national crisis. To address this problem within the scope of computing, BIP, external degree program, together with an e-learning support was introduced to serve the whole nation as a part of a mission of UCSC. Over the last 15 years, UCSC has produced more than 2,000 BIP graduates. No matter whether it is an internal or external, the employability rates of the computing graduates of the University of Colombo is now over 90%. UCSC is not only producing graduates, but also service center for the whole nation. From 1982 up to the last general election, the contribution of the UCSC to safeguard the democracy of this country is a well-known fact. We, si we silently provide the required service to the government to protect the territorial, the law and order, administration of the country. We 
whenever a government organization makes a request, we do our best to help them within our capacity. If we look back all these computing initiatives during the last 50 years at the University of Colombo, didn't happen automatically. Professor Samarnayake was the, a person who initiated and waited for and waited for things to happen. Who, uh, happened ten years ago. Uh, he left us, but his mission is still very attract, active at the UC uh, at the University of Colombo. In order to respect him, the annual oration of the Vidya Jyoti Professor V.K. Samarnayake is an important event in our calendar. In this year, 10th oration is delivered by Professor Rogerson, who, who had worked with Professor Samarnayake to establish the computing at the University of Colombo from 1970s. Professor Samarnayake always wanted others to think about the future and advise us not to wait for opportunities but go and get them. The International Conference on Advances in ICT for Emerging Regions is also such an initiative. ICTA conference links most, li uh, links not only the academics in the University of Colombo, but also other academics in other universities and IT industry. After this ceremony, I would like to invite all of you to visit the first two floors of the building to have a look at some of the memories of the past and present. Some of the future initiatives will be presented during the next two days of the ICTA conference at this auditorium. Without moving into further details, once again, I would like to welcome all participants, including special invitees to commence the proceedings of this opening ceremony and oration. I sincerely hope that you will enjoy all the events and you will find the oration and conference of the next two days informative and worthwhile. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. The director of University of Colombo School of Computing, Professor KP Kevagamage. We would like to next very warmly invite the vice chancellor of the University of Colombo for his address. Can you please welcome to the podium the senior Professor Lakshman Desanayake. Good afternoon to all of you. Your Grace, Reverend Dr. Ishwal Gomis, the Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Professor Mohandi Silva, the Chairman of the University Grants Commission, Madam Samaranayaka. Dr. Roger Stern, who is the orator today, the deans, all the colleagues who are gathered here, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, dear students. very happy to be here and witness the opening of this new building and also this uh, 21st century auditorium. I'm really delighted. I was a student of Professor Samaranayaka, that's a long time back. And whenever I come to the UCSC, my memory goes back to the early 1970s. So the university is, University of Colombo School of Computing is celebrating its uh, 50th 
Allez, hop. So it's just six years more to my university life to here in Colombo. So this is, I am actually spending my 44th year here in this university. It's not just as a student, but as a student who actually knew about late Professor Kamarangan. I come from the Faculty of Arts. I was a student who did uh, arts related subject, but we were the first to get exposure to the subject statistics for the first time in the history here in Sri Lanka from the Faculty of Arts. I think uh, Dr. Stern can still remember because I can still remember him uh, while I was a student. That was in the early 1970s. And also I had the chance to sit together with my fellow science students in some of the science laboratories there to listen to Professor Samaranayaka's Fortran programming lecture. So I studied Fortran programming by being an art student. This is the way that he accommodated the interest of others. That is what I am trying to say. In my second year, that was in 1974, sitting together with fellow science students and learning Fortran programming. That helped me a lot later in my career. But in 1974, we didn't have computers in it. We had only a punch, punch card machine under the staircase of that mathematics building. The people who can remember is Jadugan Nagaraja. And we didn't know what the computer was like. Even in later, even in early 1980s, when I went for my PhD, my computer lecturer took us on a tour to actually show the CPU. So that was placed in a big building. That was the time that Professor Samara Nayak actually took this initiative. He was very serious, and he was a visionary person. He could actually see far in the future. And he started this statistical unit. It was not actually computer first, if I can remember. It was statistical unit. So I had the chance, because I did my bachelor as well, so therefore he wanted me to come and actually teach uh, at, and join the statistical units and teach statistics for the undergraduates in the Faculty of Arts, the second year, the whole batch at the New Art Theatre, and also the biostats people from the Faculty of Science. So me and I don't know whether Kevin is here today, Dr. Kevin Seneviratna, we worked together in that small statistical unit. And gradually, so he built it up. I could actually see. So I have seen things in my own eyes. How we actually felt for this place, the university, you have to feel, you have to have that feeling for the, for this place. Those who have studied here, you know how much we love this place. So I always tell my colleagues and also students, live our lives here, yes. 
spend so much of years here. So that is how even Professor Samaranayaka felt. He was a very hard worker. All the time he was just busy. So gradually, he started in a very small manner, a very humble way, but he could see the future. That is why we call him the father of the ICT here in Sri Lanka. He could see that the 21st century was going to be the ICT age. That was in the second half of 20th century that he observed. He was assuming that. So you see, now, this is a great tribute to Professor, late Professor Samaranayaka. See the, see this fantastic facility. They are celebrating the 50th year of computing in this great university. The University of Colombo, I mean, we are very proud to be a student, to be a staff member of the University of Colombo. We all know that we are the oldest and also the best ranked university in this country. And also, we have been, in fact, placed by the Times Higher Education among the top 1,000 universities in the world now. So we are very proud to be part of that university. And also when it comes to the University of Colombo, you are talking about the quality. Quality of teaching as well as quality of learning. We have the best staff that you can think of. The same here at the UCUC as well, when it comes to computing. They are well trained in most of the best universities around the world. And also when you look at the students, they are of high quality. And we get the best students through A-level Z school. So when you go to a classroom, you find this blend, the quality of teaching and also learning. We do a lot of innovative research here. Now, UCSC has a very strong staff, they do a lot of research and they have their own research deliberations here. And also, they take the university out from its physical boundaries. That is what we should be doing. Because university is a place where there is an accumulated knowledge. Can you find a place, something like that, anywhere else? No. So why not actually take that knowledge out and link up with the industry and serve the communities around us? That is what we have been doing. That is what Professor, late Professor Samaranayaka wanted actually the, the UCSC to do. That is what, that is why he was actually creating this BIT degree in a, in, a, in, a, in a different context to serve the students who are not actually were eligible to come and study as internal students. So it opened up opportunities. So you expand higher education, not only just few, for few students, but to many students who really need such higher education. And I'm very thankful to the director and also his uh, team. They work as, work as one team. 
I have noticed that during the past two years, when I had a lot of dealings with them in relation to so many activities, one of the things that they are currently involved in promoting or improving the teaching, the quality of teaching is to work for a teaching innovation project, which we, which we are, I mean, for which we are getting funding from the UNESCO. And this is a blended learning project. As you all know that we are very much interested in innovative things. So it's not just doing a teaching in, a in the classroom setup. So we need to actually go along with the dynamic process of university education in the 21st century. And it will open up plenty of opportunities for others who really need such education. So that is one of the projects that they are doing, not only just within the UCSD, they are a focal point in the University of Colombo and they are facilitating the process with all the other faculties and the institutes in the University of Colombo. So I'm very thankful to the director and his team for, for providing uh, such assistance to elevate the status of quality of teaching in this university. I'm not actually going to talk too much. But it's very important that we use this facility to the maximum potential that you can think of. Because most of, because I'm actually a person who would, because a lot of people, I mean, here are very territorial. We have faculties, we have institutes, we have departments. So we are very concerned about our territories. But we should actually, we should not be territorial we should share our facilities. It's not only just take, but also give. So there should be give and take both in the process. And when I actually came into this auditorium, I was amazed to see such a nice facility here in the University of Colombo. A fantastic. And I immediately talked to Professor Hema Hevagamage and I told him that you should actually open up this place for others to come and actually enjoy their work here. It's a university, it's a sharing, and also that is what I have been telling my other colleagues uh, from the other faculties and institutes. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste. We are just investing for the same thing here and there. So when you have some facility which can be used by so many that you should be actually bringing all these parties together. And I'm very happy to be here today. And also I'm very much thankful once again to the UCSD. And also I congratulate the UCSD for celebrating its 50th uh, anniversary in computing here in the University of Colombo. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavor. As far as I am there as the Vice Chancellor, you will get my fullest support from my side for whatever the activities that you are planning to do. Thank you very much.
Senior Professor Lakshman Dasanayake, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for these words of uh, reassurance of your support, this great initiative. We are now going to see the launch of the 50th anniversary commemorative volume of uh, computing at the University of Colombo. And the first volumes will now be presented to uh, our distinguished invitees. And to do that, we would like to invite the chief editor of the volume, Mr. S.D.N. Nandasar. So we'd like to very warmly invite the chief editor of the volume, Mr. S.D.N. Nandasar. And uh, he will be, in fact, presenting the first copies of the volumes. And uh, that's exactly what's going to happen right now. So we have Mr. Nandasara, and the first volume will be presented to our chief guest, Professor Mohan De Silva, the chairman of the University Grants Commission. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. That's the first volume of the 50th anniversary commemorative volume of computing at the University of Colombo. And next, we'll be seeing the copy presented to uh, His Grace, the Right Reverend Dr. Oswald Gomez, the Chancellor of the University of Colombo, and next to the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Senior Professor Lakshman Desanayake. And also the Dean of Faculty of Science, Professor Ranjit Mahanama. And last but not least, to our orator this evening, Emeritus Professor Roger Stern the Director of Statistics for Sustainable Development, University of Reading, United Kingdom. Thank you, Mr. Nandasara, thank you very much. The University of Colombo, the most pioneer in providing higher education in Sri Lanka, has the best equipped, best staffed, and the most recognized computing facility in the country. For the last four decades, the University of Colombo has taken giant strides to project a remarkable rectitude in catering computer education. Computing at Colombo began in September 1967 with the return of Professor Samaranayake from the United Kingdom. Today's UCSC is an outcome of his seminal work started in 1967. When he introduced computing and began teaching Fortran programming to a group of enthusiastic teachers and students of the Department of Mathematics in Colombo, for the first time, a new era of higher education in computing was born in Sri Lanka. The stature of computing at Colombo today is the result of steady progress that passed several significant milestones hitherto to date. Here is how the history was made. 
A statistical unit was established in the late 60s. The unit used the mainframe computers at the State Engineering Corporation, and the Department of Census and Statistics, punch cards and sorters were used for statistical analysis on these computers. Until 1974, then prevalent political and economical climate in the island was less conducive and attributed to the stagnant state of the ICT at Colombo. In 1974, with the arrival of Professor Dr. Roger Stern, senior lecturer in statistics from the University of Reading, United Kingdom, the University of Colombo embarked on a link arrangement with the University of Reading, starting from 1974 for a period of 10 years. The Colombo Reading Link enhanced the statistical research, teaching, consultancy, and laboratories in Colombo. In addition to the degree programs, certificate courses were also conducted during weekends for the public sector workers, bringing in an income of maintenance and upgrading. In 1981, a multi-user, multitasking, state-of-the-art data general mini-computer was purchased. This mini-computer was used for research, teaching, processing, and university admissions, and for consultancy work. In 1982, computers were used to process the election results for the first time in Sri Lanka. The results of the presidential election in 1982 were processed and released by the statistical unit of UC as graphic display for telecasting on Rupawahini. For this purpose, floppy disk drives for the BBC microcomputer were used in Colombo even before they were introduced to the UK market. Ever since, the processing and releasing of every national election results have been continuing with the assistance of the Institute of Computer Technology, ICT, and later with the assistance of the University of Colombo School of Computing, UCSC. The computer-assisted processing and releasing of results of national elections has continued with technological improvements at every stage. The results were provided over a secured network as graphic displays and as textual data to national and private television services and the World Wide Web through the website of the Department of Elections. Online graphic displays for the telecasting of cricket matches, SARC games, and SARC quiz were also provided by the University of Colombo. The review's report of 1983, March 11th, stated, Alone amongst the Sri Lankan universities, the University of Colombo can claim to be equipped with modern computing facilities. These have as I understand, been financed by commercial initiatives within the Applied Statistics Unit. Great credit belongs to the staff who have pushed these developments through. As highlighted by the National Computer Policy for Sri Lanka, by the Special Working Committee of Natural Resources, Energy and Science Authority of Sri Lanka, Naresa, in 1983, the University of Colombo realized an important aspect of its computer center's extension work through a computer literacy program in schools. In early 1983, the Ministry of Education introduced computer-assisted education as a pilot project to three schools. The University of Colombo immensely helped the ministry in launching its computer education program through teacher training. In 1983, the Overseas Development Assistance, or ODA, program of the UK granted 10,000 British pounds in addition to the 3,000 British pounds in 1982, along with a UGC grant to establish a networked laboratory of 30 BBC microcomputers. These grants were also used to purchase several standalone BBC microcomputers, Amiga, Econ, Wang PC, a K-Pro 2 and Tandy Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 3 computers with disk drives, second processors and other peripherals and software. By then, there were three microcomputer labs of BBC microcomputers at the Colombo University. The IBM PC and Wang PC computers were in heavy demand. The Department of Statistics and Computer Science 
DSCS was established in 1985 and to cover the undergraduate courses and the relevant staff from the parent mathematics departments. DSCS immediately set above the upgrading of existing postgraduate diploma in computer applications into MSc in computer science with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, administered by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Equipment, staff training, and a link with the Computer Science Department of the University of Wales in Cardiff were funded under this project. This was considered one of the most successful development projects funded by the UNDP. The project enabled computer professionals to obtain formal training in computer science for the first time in Sri Lanka. A secondary but equally important benefit to the DSCS was the introduction of a special degree program in computer science. The first batch graduated in 1992 and all the graduates were immediately employed with decent remuneration. In early 1984, the computer center, while consolidating its position as a leading computer installation and consultancy service, worked on plans for the establishment of an Institute of Computer Technology, ICT, with the assistance of the Japanese government to produce analyst programmers to the IT industry based on the Japan Singapore Institute of Software Technology, JSIST of Singapore. The project commenced in 1987 with the establishment of the Institute of Computer Technology, ICT, an autonomous institute of the University of Colombo. The ICT was provided with the largest mainframe computer system in the country at that time, with other peripherals and staff training under project type technical cooperation of the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. This was a milestone in computer science education in Sri Lanka. The ICT moved into its newly constructed building complex in 1988, and its first output was produced soon thereafter. The fully equipped laboratories and other facilities allowed the ICT to open up its resources to others as well over the weekends and after hours. The Computing Services Center, or CSC, was established in 1990 under the management of the ICT and undertook all extension courses, consultancy and other external activities. The CSC utilized the resources of both the ICT and the DSCS. The income generated by the CSC ensured the sustainability of the ICT and the DSCS and also helped in retaining the qualified staff. The Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, which administered the project, recognized its success and entrusted the ICT to conduct a third country training program, TCTP, in Structured Systems Analysis and Design Methodologies in 1993. The TCTP was offered for five consecutive years, providing training annually for 15 students from the Asia-Pacific region and five from Sri Lanka. The successful completion of the program in 1997 was followed by a second assignment to conduct a third country training program in information systems engineering for the next five years from 1998 to 2002. The course in the year 2000 and 2001 included participants from Africa and three more foreign participants supported by the Colombo Plan Secretariat. The TCTP conducted by the ICT received the JICA President's Award for the best JICA project in the year 1999. The ICT has also conducted several other third country training programs supported by the Commonwealth Secretariat. The degree programs conducted by the DSCS were evaluated by the British Computer Society, following which the BSc and MSc degree programs were accredited. The BSc special degree in computer science received full accreditation. The University of Colombo has been actively engaged in the development of local language, Sinhala and Tamil interfaces for personal computers in application areas such as word processing, database management systems, 
optical character recognition, language translation, and language dictionary, a research area nobody has hitherto undertaken in Sri Lanka. One of the other major roles played by the ICT of the University of Colombo was to coordinate research and recommend the draft Singular Code for ISO, International Standards Organization, to be included in Unicode. Based upon the recommendation made by the Computer and Information Technology Council of Sri Lanka, Syntec, and the subsequent approval of the Sri Lanka Standards Institute, the ISO meetings were held in Greece, where the draft Singhala Accord was discussed intensively. After a few ad hoc committee meetings with national and international delegates, the repertoire, names and arrangements for the Singhala script based on the Sri Lankan proposal were accepted with a slight modification and the Singhala code chart was included in Unicode version 3.0 in the year 2000. The Department of Computer Science, DCS, of the University of Colombo was established in 2001 by splitting the Department of Statistics and Computer Science, which functioned since 1985 as a part of the Faculty of Science of the University of Colombo. While the DCS was responsible for undergraduate and postgraduate training in computer science, the Department of Statistics was responsible for statistical education for both undergraduates and postgraduates. The Department of Computer Science, DCS, and the ICT were able to negotiate substantial donor funding from human resource development and infrastructure from the Swedish government under the CEDA IT program in the year 2000. The CEDA IT project, which commenced in the year 2000, was extended to two phases and concluded in August 2010. The CEDA IT project was unique in a way it opened PhD opportunities to computing academic staff from all state universities in Sri Lanka. The staff of the universities from Jaffna, Peradeniya, Ruhuna, and ICT and DCS obtained PhD and MPhil qualifications from Uppsala, Stockholm, KTH, Mid-Sweden, Gothenburg, and Halmstead universities in Sweden, enriching the human resources of the local universities. This also spurred staff exchanges between local counterpart universities and those in Sweden. Under the Infrastructure Development Program, the LEARN network connecting all universities in Sri Lanka was strengthened with campus-wide fiber networks and wideband access to internet. In all this, ICT and DCS played a key role in coordinating all activities and providing the necessary technical support. In September 2002, the Institute of Computer Technology and the Department of Computer Science of the Faculty of Science merged to form the University of Colombo School of Computing, or UCSC, as a center of higher learning affiliated to the University of Colombo with a fair amount of financial and administrative autonomy. At present, the UCSC has three academic departments and six centers. It is now enjoying the status of being the leading center for higher education in computing in the country. This merger by now helped to bring together over 60 academic staff consisted of three professors, 25 senior lecturers and 26 lecturers among whom are 24 PhD holders making a total of 54 the expertise of the staff covers a wide range of interests in computer science and IT. The building complex is fully wired for internet access and houses an impressive collection of the state-of-the-art equipment, regularly updated due to the rapidly changing nature of technology. As the traditional university system could not cater for the rapid demand, in early 2000, an external degree program leading to a certificate in the first year, a diploma in the second year, and a bachelor's degree in information technology, BIT, in the third year was initiated. The course curriculum was prepared by the ICT and DSCS staff with the support of the IT industry. 
Training is undertaken by the private sector, while the examinations are conducted by the UCSC and the certificates are awarded by the University of Colombo. The University of Colombo has always contributed to activities beyond the campus, particularly in helping the community at large. The UCSC has taken the lead in providing computer awareness to the public and by helping school-based activities through the public and private media channels. For more than three decades, these television and radio programs received the highest ratings and were most popular programs at that time. Today, the UCSC continues to grow from strength to strength, providing beyond doubt the immense benefits of the careful initial planning and positive approach of the successive development phases of its predecessor institutions and their staff. Its stature as a center of repute and success is also a strong attraction to many donors who have assisted in the early development efforts and can now see positive results from their investments. The exceptional resource space in IT at the University of Colombo is being expanded and upgraded regularly. New developments are being monitored and research and development work is in progress. The synergy of UCSC has provided Sri Lanka with a facility it can be proud of. These facilities would improve by leaps and bounds, thus helping Sri Lanka to be a leader in the world IT community. With the demise of its founding director and mentor, Professor V.K. Samaranayaka in 2007, an era came to an end. However, his prudent thinking and visionary wisdom of the ICT education for the nation has carved his name in the history of our nation as the father of ICT in Sri Lanka. His far-reaching composure of work in the true spirit of the national information technology landscape is inspirational to today's UCSC and ICT in Sri Lanka in general. For the next generations, successive ICT institutions and their staff at Colombo shall be determined to continue their groundbreaking activities beyond 50 years of hard work with pride and eagerness for the nation. What a remarkable journey. What a remarkable journey, 50 years of computing at the University of Colombo. And with that audiovisual experience that you enjoyed, we're now very respectfully inviting His Grace, the Right Reverend Dr. Oswald Gomez, the Chancellor of the University of Colombo for his address. Professor Mohan De Silva, the chairman of the UGC, Professor Lakshman Desanayake, our vice chancellor, Professor KP Seva Gamage, the director of UC, UCSC. Madam Samarnayaka and Professor Roger Stern, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students. I feel proud to stand here 
as a chancellor of the University of Colombo, which has made so remark such remarkable progress in many fields. And today, as we see in the field of computer technology, computer technology is indeed a science that has permeated several other fields, not only within the university, but also over the whole country. You have seen here with this film how computer science helped even with the elections of the country. It has remarkable progress and convenience provided in the field of economics and statecraft. Therefore, computer science is not something limited, but it's a remarkable progress in human science. I'm very happy that the University of Colombo 50 years ago initiated this program and we must be very deeply grateful to its pioneer, Professor Samar Naika. I have had the pleasure of working with him as a member of the University Council. And at that time, after meetings, we used to talk to each other for a while. One day I asked him, Professor, you are doing so much of work. You are spending so much of your time what is the advantage to you? He said, no, I don't need any advantages. For me, it is the delight of work. So you see, here is a man of initiative, drive, force, integrity, and ability, who dedicated his whole life for the benefit of others, and particularly for the benefit of this university. And as such, because of the contrib contribution of such great men, today our University of Colombo stands the highest in Sri Lanka. And as our good Vice Chancellor mentioned, we are also rated very high in the world. Now, when we talk of computer science, certainly it has done a great service to humanity. Several things have been simplified, made easy, and the benefits that we accrue are indeed immeasurable. But at the same time, as much as everything good can be turned to evil, there are also the defects that have influenced human society and particularly among the young. So it is not simply the science that makes it great, but the ability of people to use it. And the use of it depends not on the machine, but on the human mind. And it depends on the color we give it to it and the great way we use this science for benefit and not for anything disastrous. So it is my pleasure today to stand here and congratulate especially the team working at present in the university with this with the UCSC. I see, as Professor uh, Vice Chancellor remarked, a remarkable dedication to the work that they are doing. And as mentioned, this hall is certainly a pride to the university. And as hoped, I too hope that this will provide 
very much for also the other faculties to make use of so that the product is not only limited to a particular group, but rather to the wide sphere of the whole university. I must congratulate those who have been involved in this work. And I thank everyone who's dedicating himself or herself to this work. And I wish our students of the University of Colombo will also measure up to what is expected of them as great uh, men for the future, not only in learning, but also in contributing their knowledge, making use of their knowledge, and in the for the advancement of the country and for its people. I do not want to speak long, but I thank all of you for your presence here, and I thank once again the authorities of the University of Colombo for this remarkable progress that they are making, and I'm very proud, I must say, to stand here today to congratulate everyone responsible for the welfare of the university, especially led by our Vice Chancellor, who has taken a lot of initiatives during this short spell of time to see that the university is really a university and not simply a university college. So I thank you, and in my way, may I say, God bless you all. Our grateful thanks go to you, Your Grace, the Right Reverend.